So in this video, we're going to talk about how to factor the difference of squares in five minutes or less. So when you're subtracting two terms that are perfect squares, you can use the difference of squares pattern to factor. So if you have a squared minus b squared, that's going to be a plus b times a minus b. So for example, if we have x squared minus 9, notice that it can be rewritten as x squared minus 3 squared because both of these terms are perfect squares. That means that x is a and 3 is b. So we can write this in factored form as x plus 3 times x minus 3. When you're working on these problems, it's a good idea to have a chart of perfect squares available with you so that you can look and see if you have any of these numbers that are perfect squares in your problem. So let's try factoring x squared minus 49. So you'll notice from the chart that 49 is a perfect square, so we can rewrite this as x squared minus 7 squared. That means in factored form, this is going to become x plus 7 times x minus 7. So if we look at 25x squared minus 81, notice that once again, both of these terms are perfect squares. We can rewrite this as 5x squared minus 9 squared. So in factored form, this is going to become 5x plus 9 times 5x minus 9. And so that is our factored form. So let's look at this one, 5x squared minus 320. So you may be looking at this and wondering what's going on because both these numbers are not perfect squares. But remember, we can also look for a GCF whenever we're working on factoring problems. If I look at both 5 and 320, notice that they have a GCF of 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out that 5, and then I'm going to divide both of these terms by 5. So when I do that, what I'm left with is 5 times, and then 5x squared over 5 is going to be x squared. 320 over 5 is going to be 64. Now you may see that we have a difference of squares, right? We can rewrite this as 5 times x squared minus 8 squared. And so when we factor this, we're going to have 5 times x plus 8 times x minus 8. Remember, in factoring problems, you always want to include your GCF. So there you go. That's factoring the difference of squares in five minutes or less.